Hello and welcome to a second lesson on linear equations. In this lesson, we'll first recap what we did in the first lesson, and then we'll move on to look at equations with x on both sides of the equal sign. And finally, we'll look at equations involving brackets. To begin then, a lesson one recap. We were doing equations like this in lesson one. 2x minus 5 equals 12. And what we did was we isolated the x's by taking the 5 to the other side. But whenever we take something across the equal sign, it changes sign. So minus 5, when it moves to the other side, becomes plus 5. And now we have 2x equals 12 plus 5, and we add those together to get 17. Now we know 2x is 17, we find x by dividing by how many x's we have. So 17 divided by 2. It doesn't go exactly, which means the answer won't be a whole number. 2 goes into 17 8 times, 8 twos is 16, 1 left over, and if we divide them by 2, 1 divided by 2 is a half. So the answer is 8 and a half. x equals 8 and a half. A second example. 3x equals 14. We isolate the x's by taking the 9 to the other side, but plus 9 on the left, when we take it across, becomes minus 9 on the right. So 3x is equal to 14 minus 9. 14 minus 9 is 5. So x is equal to 5 divided by how many x's we have. It doesn't go exactly yet again. x is equal to 3 goes into 5 once, 2 left over, 2 divided by 3 we write as 2 thirds. So the answer is x equals 1 and 2 thirds. Right, that's where we left the first lesson. Now we're ready to move on and look at more complicated equations with x's on both sides. The principle is just the same. I want to isolate the x's. So I'm going to bring the x's to the left hand side and anything that doesn't involve x will take to the right hand side. So I've got 7x and I'm going to bring this 3x across. Now there's no sign in front of the 3x, but that means it's positive. We don't normally put a sign in front of the first term if it's positive. Just like if you're 15 years old, you don't normally say you're plus 15 years old because you couldn't possibly be minus 15. So if we haven't got a negative, we have this convention where we don't put a sign in front of the first one, just like we didn't have a sign in front of the 7x there, but it just means it's positive. However, that's important to understand because this 3x being positive, when I move it across the left-hand side, it has to change sign. So it changes to minus 3x. Equals plus 13 is already on the right-hand side. I haven't moved it, so don't start changing its sign. The plus 5, however, I am moving across to the other side, and it will change to minus 5. Now we're going to collect the x's together on the left. 7x take away 3x is 4x. Equals 13 take away 5 is 8, or plus 8. It doesn't matter whether you write the sign at the front or not. If 4x equals 8, x is equal to 8 divided by how many x's we have. So x is 8 divided by 4, which means that x is 2. A second example, 6x plus 1 equals 25 minus 2x. Let's get the x's to the left hand side. So I've got 6x already there and I'm going to bring this minus 2x across. When I bring minus 2x across the equal sign, it changes to plus 2x. Equals, 25 is already there. If it hasn't moved from one side to the other, it doesn't change sign. However, this plus 1, when it comes across, will change to minus 1. Now let's collect the x's on the left, the numbers on the right. 6x add 2x is 8x. Equals 25 take away 1 is 24. So if 8x is 24, x 
is 24 divided by how many x's we have? 24 divided by 8. And that goes exactly 3 times. So x is equal to 3. It is possible to check whether you've got the right answer. Let's put this 3 in the left-hand side. 6 3's are 18, plus 1 is 19. So the left-hand side is 19. 2 3's are 6, and 25 minus 6 is also 19. So we've got a true statement, 19 equals 19. And that's what equations are about, making both sides equal. So we can be confident that that's the right answer. Two more examples of this type of question. 9x minus 15 is equal to 3x plus 4. Let's bring the x's to the left, take the numbers to the right. So 9x is already there. Let's write that down. And I'm going to bring this 3x across. What will it be when it comes across? It'll change sign. It's positive there, even though it's not explicitly written in. It's plus 3x, so when it comes across, it becomes minus 3x equals plus 4 is already on the right hand side I'm going to bring this minus 15 across to join it but when minus 15 comes across it changes to plus 15 so we've now got 9x minus 3x which is 6x and we've got plus 4 plus 15 which is plus 19 so if 6x is plus 19, x is plus 19, or simply 19, divided by how many x's we have. 6 goes into 19 three times, 1 left over. If we divide them by 6, the 1 left over becomes 1 sixth. Answer, x equals 3 and 1 sixth. Last example of this type, 7x minus 11 equals 15 minus 3x. Let's get the x's to the left-hand side. 7x, bring this minus 3x across. If it comes across the equal sign, it changes sign. So it becomes plus 3x. Equals, 15 is already there. If something doesn't move, it doesn't change sign. So it stays as plus 15. This minus 11, when it comes across, will change to plus 11. Collect the x's. 7x add 3x is 10x equals 15 add 11 is 26. So x is 26 divided by how many x's we have. So we can say x is equal to 2. 10 goes into 26 twice. 6 left over. If we divide by 10, the 6 left over becomes 6 tenths. Or you could say in this case, since you divide by 10, we could say 26 divided by 10 is 2.6, which means the same as 2 and 6 tenths. We'll now move on to look at four equations involving brackets. So we've got 2 multiplied by the bracket x plus 5 equals 16. And all we do is multiply out the bracket and we have a lesson on expanding brackets if you've forgotten how to do that. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times plus 5 is plus 10. We multiply everything in the bracket by the 2 at the front and that's equal to 16. Now this is a simple little equation now like the ones we did in lesson 1. So let's take the 10 to the other side to get the x's on their own. 2x equals 16, and we take the plus 10 across, it becomes minus 10. So 2x is equal to 6, 16 take away 10, which means that x is 6 divided by 2, the number of x's we have, to give an answer of x equals 3. And I can check that. If I put a 3 in for x, 3 add 5 is 8, and if I times 8 by 2, I do get 16. And that can give us confidence that the answer x equals 3 is correct. Second example, 3 multiplied by x minus 7 equals 6. 
multiply out the bracket. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times minus 7 is minus 21. Equals 6. Isolate the x's by taking the 21 to the other side. We've got 6. Take the minus 21 across. It becomes plus 21. So that gives me 3x is equal to 6 plus 21 is 27. So x is 27 divided by the number of x's we have. And 27 divided by 3 is 9. So x is equal to 9. Let's check that one. Put a 9 in for the x. 9 take away 7 is 2. And 2 times 3 does indeed give you 6. If we'd got any other answer, that would never have worked, that check. Let's suppose I got x equals 10. If I put 10 in here, 10 take away 7 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9, not 6. So it's a good way of checking you've got the right answer. And our last two examples. 4 multiplied by the bracket 2x plus 5 equals 32. Multiply out the bracket. 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times plus 5 is plus 20. 4 fives are 20. Equals 32. Right, let's take the 20 to the other side to get the x's on their own. 8x is equal to 32 minus 20. Changing the sign as it comes across. So 8x is equal to 32 take 20 is 12. Which means that x is 12 divided by the number of x's we have, 8. So x equals, 8 goes into 12 once, 4 left over, so it's 1 and 4 eighths. And in its simplest form, we could cancel the 4 eighths, cancel by 4, 4 eighths is the same as a half. So we could say the answer is x equals 1 and a half. And the last example. 3 multiplied by 3x minus 7 is equal to 15. First multiply out the bracket. 3 times 3x is 9x. 3 times minus 7 is minus 21. Equals 15. Take the 21 to the other side so we get the x's on their own. 9x is equal to 15 and minus 21 goes across the other side to become plus 21. So 9x is equal to 15 add 21 is 36. Which means that x is 36 divided by the number of x's we have, 9. And 36 divided by 9 is 4. So our final answer is x equals 4. Let's check that one. If I put 4 in here, 3x means 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 take away 7 is 5. And 5 times 3 is indeed 15. Right, that concludes this second lesson on linear equations. And we've now covered all the material you need for foundation to your GCSE. This material is also examined on higher tier GCSE, but there's also some more difficult equations. And for higher tier students, there's also a lesson called Linear Equations 3. Now you'll find an exercise based on the two types of equation we've been solving in this lesson.